Hey guys, Jenny here. So I am using a new deck um, today and this week. I've used it actually for myself in the past, um, but it was someone else's deck. So I decided, when was it, like over a week ago, whatever, to buy it for myself. Um, so it is called Divination of the Ancients, okay? So I'm sorry if um, the camera moves a lot. I'm actually using my cell phone. Um, today, normally I use my laptop, but quite honestly, my laptop is like five and a half, six years old, and that's old in computer terms, and I think my, my phone gives a better, um, quality for the camera, so I need to get a new laptop soon, hopefully in the next few months. So, I'm sorry, I'm going to try not to move this too much because I'm holding it, um, with my hand. So, if you would, please, uh, send it yourself and allow either one, two, or three to pop into your mind for a message for today and this week, okay? And I've already pulled the cards, so I'm not really gonna waste um, any time. So the first card we have here is called Wishbone, Affirmation. Oh, you look at that, there's not much of a glare. <laughs> it's like the first time ever. Um, honestly, I'm hearing make a wish, and if you see, I'm gonna hold it up closer, there's hearts translucent hearts all around this golden energy um, around the wishbone itself you know and two people are pulling it you know a lot of people do that uh, usually around well Thanksgiving it doesn't really matter when you really do it you know whatever animal chicken turkey whatever has a wishbone um, you pull it right you make a wish and whichever gets that that top piece is usually the one that uh, I guess they wish granted right I believe that's how it is anyway I am hearing make a wish but now it says off, uh, affirmation so make a wish every day between now and the end of this year about what you want for 2019, okay? Because I feel like right now we are in a very powerful time. There's no retrogrades going on, at least not that I can think of. Um, I don't, are we coming up to a full moon? Or did we just have a full moon? Either way, I think we're coming up to a full moon. Um, either way, this is a very auspicious time right now, and the holiday season is a very magical time anyways. A lot of people get their wishes around this time of year. So make a wish, or several wishes, affirmations about what you want to bring in for yourself for the new year, what you want to create, what you want to accomplish. The hearts tell me, and I feel this is... It's actually going to be for a few of you, a uh, new love coming in or rekindled love between you and someone else, okay? You and someone you knew from the past. There is this abundance of loving, and I'm seeing a lot of pink, which relates to the heart center anyway. Pink's the color of love. Um, a lot of pink energy coming your way. So if that's one of your wishes, um... Maybe change your wish from saying, oh, I wish I had this, to I have this, right? Don't, because when you say, like, I wish for something, yes, that's that's great, that's well and good, but it kind of leads it out into the future somewhere. You don't know when the hell it's going to happen. By saying, I already have it, you bring that energy in faster and closer to you, all right? But there's, this is def there's definitely a coming together, okay? I'm seeing two people come together, and it does feel for love. Um, I mean, love, you can love on all levels, right? Family, I love my cat, <laughs> Gizmo. Um, you could love your work. Maybe you find a new career path to go down that you absolutely love. Uh, maybe you come into a business partner who you, the two of you mesh uh, so well with, you create something amazing. So there, there is, you know, love can be on different levels. I'm definitely getting romantic vibes with this one though. All right, so I'm just letting you know that. All right, I like that. It's a good card for number one. Number two, I actually used this, um, pulled this card for a reading uh, last week. Hydromancy, illusion. Now, hydromancy is another form of scrying. And scrying is looking through either like a crystal ball um, or, or like a bowl of water and receiving images in the mind that way. It's just another, like, like using cards, it's just another form of accessing your intuition. That's really it. It's just a tool. Um, 
what I hear with this though, this speaks because of the word illusion, not everything is as it seems. Okay, so I feel like if you've been negative lately or not seeing the silver lining to things, looking at things in a negative sort of light, your focus, I'm hearing you're focusing too much on what you don't want, that you're not seeing what you want literally right in front of you, okay? Now, this could relate to a person in your life, okay? Maybe, maybe you're in a new relationship and you're focusing on things that you don't really like about them <laughs> too much, or that, that, that maybe seem like, not that you don't really like about them, but just maybe some things are hard to deal with. <laughs> um, but you're not seeing the good, like the real, true, genuine good that's there for you. Uh, maybe it has to do with a job. You know, oftentimes when you start a new job, the first few months are usually trial and error, right? Um, and it may seem overwhelming. Not a lot of people like to be overwhelmed. It's not a great feeling, right? So, but there's usually reward afterwards if you keep going. So that's the illusion though, of feeling overwhelmed, of feeling trapped, of feeling like you're not getting what you want and deserve. It's an illusion. You have to keep telling yourself that though, because that's hard to believe even just hearing it one time. I could easily say it to you. And I've had that pretty much said to me through cards. I've pulled cards over the past few months for something and I literally keep getting the same damn answer. And you would think by now I would listen to it, but not really. So <laughs> it's fine. But so try to keep telling yourself that what you feel is an illusion. You're not actually trapped. You're not actually overwhelmed. If you are, it's because of it's your own doing. You're purposely doing that to yourself, even if you don't really want to. Um, there's a lot of good. There's a lot of good with it. The flowers in this represent growth, blossoming growth, fertility even. Um, what bothers you is a sign for you, that, like that's that that's that's where you need to look at to see how you can grow, all right? How you can learn from that experience and move past it. So if you chose number two, if you chose number two, if you want to try hydromancy, go for it. Uh, water scrying, go for it. Um, but to me, I feel like this is just a message saying you're not as trapped as you think you are. You're making yourself trapped. No one else is. All right, and I feel like it's a lot of the mental. It's a mental trap. You can't get yourself out of your own way. Hard, easier said than done. Th that I know. Um, you just really have to try to tell yourself otherwise. Tell yourself to calm down. Like I said, easier said than done. So, good luck. <laughs> All right, last card. If you chose number three, Ooh. wheel of fortune, fate. I like receiving this card in really any deck because uh, whether it's an oracle or tarot deck, there is always a Wheel of Fortune type of fate card. I love receiving it because now, <sighs> granted, I, I, always, I always consider this a very positive card. Yes, if the Wheel of Fortune spins, you very well could land on bankrupt, okay? Like on the show Wheel of Fortune. You literally could land on bankrupt, okay? And that would be fate. That's karma. Uh, I, I very rarely see that happen for someone. To me, it's like when when I'm giving a reading and they pull the Wheel of Fortune card. To me, that's karma coming back around, but in a positive way. Um, unfin unfinished business being completed. Things coming together to create something that was started maybe years ago. But maybe you just kind of let go of back in the day, right? So to me, Wheel of Fortune, and also I'm hearing timing on this. Timing is everything. There's always divine timing. We have a plan for ourselves, but our higher self, our universe, God, whatever, whatever you want to call it, has a greater plan. And that plan always wins. Always. 10 out of 10 times, okay? You can try to str struggle all you want to make something happen, but timing, fate, karma, the Wheel of Fortune, will always, always win. You can't fight it. 
So stop doing so. <laughs> um, so if you chose number three, well, first I'm hearing have fun. I am. I'm hearing have fun. Because, see this little dude up here? He kind of almost looks like it could be the devil. Honestly, if you look at it close, I don't know if you can really see it. To me, it kind of looks like he could almost be the devil. But I'm getting as like a jester, a joker. Um, so I'm hearing right now is the time for you to have fun. Stop stressing so much about how something is coming together. How a project is being completed. How... Or what direction a relationship is going in. To me, it's like, just have fun. So that way, you will have much more positive fate, positive karma. If you worry too much, that's what you're going to project in your outer world. That's what you're going to receive. And is that really what you want? Let's be serious. I mean, if you want something to fall apart, you can make something fall apart right now. Literally, right this second, right after watching this video. You really could. If you don't want something to happen, you could just completely let it go and walk away, move on. But I'm feeling you don't really want that. So you need to stop focusing on what you don't want. Focus on what it is that you do want, okay? Let that wheel of fortune turn. Work in your favor. You have partly con part control of that. The universe and your highest self has the rest, especially when it comes to timing. If you want something to happen right away, it might take you another few months. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> but there's always a reason behind it, and it's always a great reason. All right? All right. Those are your messages. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please share this video with others. Next week is Christmas. Um, I'm going to try, well, it's next Tuesday, but I'm going to try to do this video uh, next Sunday or Monday if I can. I got a lot of stuff coming up um, to get done this weekend in preparation for Christmas. So I don't really know if I'll get to it. Um, you'll definitely have one for New Year's, that's for sure. So if, if I don't make this video, have a wonderful holiday for those who uh, celebrate. Um, but otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Bye.